Meantime, state lawmakers want to crack down on people who falsely claim their dogs are service animals. The state house bill deals with the misrepresentation of those animals. The bill calls for a $250 fine for people caught breaking the rules. Well, speaking of animals, this emotional support peacock <laughs> ruffled some feathers at a New Jersey airport over the weekend. His owner bought him his own seat but he was denied access to a United Airlines flight. Hmm. In light of this event, Krem 2's Amanda Rowley looked into what unusual emotional support animals have passed through the Spokane International Airport. She also looked into the guidelines. The Spokane International Airport says it typically sees dogs and cats come through the airport. But, you know, it doesn't make the rules on what pets can or can't board a plane. It's actually the airlines. Most airlines allow emotional support animals, but require passengers to submit paperwork and give at least 48 hours notice. But not all emotional support animals fit their criteria. There are several animals airlines won't allow on the plane due to safety or public health concerns. Those animals include hedgehogs, ferrets, rodents, snakes, goats, and non-household birds. Like this emotional support peacock one woman tried to bring with her from New Jersey. This woman is wrangling her peacock into the airport. Travel show Jet Set posted this video showing Dexter the peacock making his grand entrance. United Airlines gave a statement saying this unusual support animal violated their policy by not meeting the guidelines for size and weight and say they explained this to the customer three times before they arrived at the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Seattle. In 2016, you might remember Jody Smalley, who boarded a plane from Seattle to San Francisco with her emotional support turkey named Easter. Jody and Easter have successfully flown together twice on Virgin Airlines, but now most airlines no longer allow any type of poultry on their aircraft. So we asked Jody about Dexter the Peacock being denied access to its United Airlines flight. No, I don't think they should have denied her, you know, because it's an unusual animal. Uh, the fact that it's size, like the tail, once again, you know, could be just kind of in everybody else's space. You know, that could be, that's a reason that I can see as being valid. Many of you who responded to this story on our Facebook page disagreed. Although you may not like the rule, your peacocks and your turkeys will have to stay home. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.